Hi there, so today I'm changing the drop links on this uh, Toyota Alphard. So what I've done is I've taken off the, the drop link from there, which is connected over here. And at the bottom, it's connected over here. This is the new one that's about to go in. Um, and it's connected by a 19 millimeter socket here. And sometimes you have a nut at the back of them, which I'll just show you on this one. You can just see it there. And that's a nut at the back and you have to get a, a 15 millimeter sock, a spanner on that and then remove the nut using a 19 millimeter uh, socket so hold that bit there otherwise the nut will just rotate around and a that's that allows the, the nut to be removed uh, i've jacked up both wheels off the car off the car uh supported them in jacks axle stands on either side also got the jacks on there just in case uh, and then i put the wheels uh, underneath it just in case everything's covered Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt the new one on. So there's the new one on. Okay, so it just slides in straight into the into the little hole there. Okay, and then it goes on to this side at the top, just on the suspension strut, the little hole there. And again, my apologies because I'm the only one here and it's also late at night because I'm doing this after work. Um, there it goes, okay, and you'll see there's a little allen key in the center of that. You're holding the allen key in the center and using the nut and tightening up. It's as simple as that. So tighten allen key there, hold it in there, nut, tighten, 19 millimeter, and the same at the bottom. Lock in nice and tight and just check it's secure. And then it's back to the wheels on again. Okay, that's your uh, Bill Stein uh, replacements. So I'll just show you the, the the ticket there. Okay, hopefully you can you can see that. That's the one that I've replaced from Bill Stein. So these ones are cheaper versions uh, that I bought off eBay. Now to note that um, normally I'll just show you in this. Normally in the end of this bolt here, you would have an Allen key socket there. Uh, so you just drop your Allen key slot. So you can just drop an Allen key into there and tighten the nut around, and that will stop it rotating. On these ones, you have a collar on this side, uh, which is held with a spanner. But when you hold it with a spanner, you can end up damaging this this diaphragm as well. So it's not a, it's not a great idea. I'm just going to pull that up on a. Let's try that. Let's try that there. Okay, so. There's the nut there that can that you have to hold on to, so it's always better to buy one with a little uh, Allen key tightener there. Okay, so you put the Allen key on and use just a, a regular uh, spanner to tighten it. So the car has been making a banging noise, uh, which is near the left-hand side, uh, passenger side. Um, of the wheel and it's just a little banging noise now I know that I've changed the uh, I've changed the drop links about three years ago and this is Edinburgh so it's quite it's, it's a very very bumpy ride the car's lowered it takes a lot of uh, punishment so I figured that one of the drop links is gone um, now the drop links are there and the other side is over there so that's the first bolt and there's the second bolt on the other side of this thing um, and I've got one here which is the replacement so you can see that it basically attaches onto the sway bar and onto the suspension um, and that will just give that sway bar control and stop from rattling or banging so if this has uh, either come loose uh, one of the bolts has come loose you'll get that banging noise if it's failed you'll get that banging noise so I could take them off and check them uh, but they're three years old, so I don't want to be taking the wheels off and then putting them back on and then ordering a part and and doing it again. So what I'm doing, going to do is just replace them. And it's simply two bolts and a that is it. So I'm going to get cracking on and I'll talk you through this once I've got the bolts off.